we're asked to find the first term. As I mentioned, um, it's important to have the first term frequently when you're working with these series, and you can use the sum formulas to find that first term. So I'm going to look at the information I have. I have the sum, I have the common ratio, and I have the number, but I don't have the last term. So I use the formula that involves the number of terms, not the last term. And what I'm looking for is the first term. Therefore, the sum is 1020 equals the first term times 1 minus r is 2, and it's 2 raised to the eighth power divided by 1 minus 2. This is going to give me 1020 equals the first term times 1 minus. If you go through your powers of 2, you'll find that um, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 2 to the 5th equals 32. Then we're going to get 2 to the 6th is 64. 2 to the 7th is 128. And then 2 to the 8th is 256. So that's 1 minus 256 divided by 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Therefore, 1020 equals a sub 1, 1 minus 256 is negative 255, divided by negative 1. Therefore, 1020 equals negative a sub 1 times 255 divided by negative 1. Well, negative and a negative gives me positive, so that's 1020 equals a sub 1 times 255. I just take 1020 divide by 255, so I've divided both sides by 255, and I'm going to get that the first term actually equals 4. So I was asked to find the first term, and I found that using the sum formula requiring the first term, the common ratio, and the number of terms, and I determined that the first term in this geometric series is actually 4. That finishes up this lesson on geometric series on educator.com. Thank you for visiting.